Hey guys, Sidfire here. Welcome to MM Creator. Today we are adding more biomes into the caves. So basically it'll be like, wow, look at that. We're now in an ice cave. How crazy is that? What the heck did I just try to do? <laughs> so uh, in between episodes, I got a lot done. Um, I got the stone spikes and crystals working to the to an acceptable point. Um, like, obviously, they're never gonna be perfect just because of the way I'm doing this. Like, for the crystals, we need, like, five different procedures. And for the stone spikes and how many freaking things we have of that, we need, like, 25 procedures. So, uh, I went ahead and did that. I also tried to get a new way to get oil to spawn, but I can't quite figure that out because I thought that'd be an interesting thing to add to the desert. And so, um, before we get into any further, let's go over some of the uh, ideas you guys had in between episodes for uh, what I should add. Okay, so the only thing was Manny's Man suggesting to add a dungeon with a new boss. So that's definitely something I could do. Um, but what I'm going to do, this that might be for another episode, but let's look in our cave up the uh, text right here. Let me just slide that there. Um, make oil replace oil block. Yeah, so I'm still trying to do that. So basically, right here, I kind of have uh, how I want this to be done. So there'll be like a water type biome, plains biome, which is just going to be like the dirty stone. And um, I'm trying to think of two more or subtypes. So I thought sludge would be a good one for a water biome. A uh, foss, I couldn't think of really anything for plains. So I just put like fossilized organic, thinking like maybe leaves decompose. It'll just kind of be like a little debris. Just to kind of add a nice little. Um, I don't know texture in the caves and so uh yeah that's that and then here i have um oil which is kind of hard to do i just might make that an ore that just spawns in abundant in the desert um but yeah we'll see uh i'm still trying to figure out how all this is going to work because i've tried tediously on getting the oil to work it just keeps refusing and uh yeah um Make new set of spikes for crafting and using. Yeah, I did that already. So, uh, yeah, foods was last episode now. Um, this might be a two-part episode of the cave biome just because I'm not sure what I want to do with it. And I want to make sure you guys like can have a suggestion on it because this is like a concept that has huge like potential. So I want to hear your guys' like, suggestions on this. So let's get right on into adding the stuff into here. Um, so we're going to start by texturing the leftover blocks i'm just going to show you what i did with the ice biome just so that you guys can get an idea of this so let's uh, hop on into a game here and i will show you guys what i have done all right so all we gotta do is slash locate igloo and then teleport to there to negative 832 there and 1104 there now we're in a snow biome so that's pretty simple so now let's go take a gander at these caves here so you see we got these snowy and icy blocks there. Kind of adds a little uh, interest uh, aspect into the cave. Um, yeah, obviously we have night vision because stuff. And why am I lagging? Oh yeah, it's because of the spike generation. So yeah, you see. Uh, oh, I didn't show you guys this yet. So yeah, you can walk through these spikes. Um, so that's a little bit easier to maneuver. Um, also, if we can go into a deeper cave... I can start to show you guys um oh yeah i added colored crystals now they all just drop like kind of regular white crystals uh which are used to make the crystal cookie now we have ceiling spikes so i was i figured out to add those however if you start clicking around too many places it'll start to glitch so you have to be careful uh like if i just start right clicking a whole bunch of blocks yeah see that thing just spawns and disappears so like it doesn't really exist because like you can like place a block on top and it's gone but it's a little glitch that's just gonna happen i've been trying to fix that for the past like three days and i can't fix that without making 80 more issues that are unfixable so yeah um i figured that okay this is fine so yeah so uh you can right click and get crystal fragments and so you got colored crystals there's purple green white and blue i might add a red one maybe but yeah, so we got colored crystals now in the caves. Now there's more variety. I, guys, look, just take this. In the beginning of the mod pack to right here, I can already see a crap ton of things that we added in. We added in these stones here, the three little, or a bunch of stones, really. Um, the caves just already kind of look more cavey. And I, I kind of want to add more light ambiance into the caves somehow. 
like light stones, but that doesn't really exist. I don't know. I might make the crystals have the uh, like a little light effect, just because that might be interesting. I might. I'm also gonna make these crystals spawn way less than they do. So um, that's something I'm gonna quickly change. And yeah, this is kind of how the biome looks for like a uh, icy snow biome. So yeah, we got. It kind of feels colder already too. So that's interesting. And um, yeah, so let's go and work on getting more on. Ambiance into the caves. All right, actually, what I might do, um, because this is going to be really quick as soon as I add the blocks and ideas here, um, I might add a little more ambiance into the lighting system. So this torch here, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna make that um, kind of work a little differently. So when um, tools in hand. Instead of doing that, it's going to, um, all right, I'm going to add a block here. Uh, so we're going to add block. We're going to call this light transparent. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be a transparent block and, um, it's not going to be obtainable. Nope. Uh, I don't know what sound a barrier makes, but sure. Um, step sound stone that would make the most sense. Um, no creative tab entry, yeah, it's a barrier. Um, hardness, yeah, it's gonna be like zero, zero luminance. So, um, Minecraft torch luminance, luminance is 14 on a torch, so we're gonna give this luminance 14. Um, yeah, you can walk through the block, of course. Light passes 255. Wait, this can't go up to 14. What does that go up to? 1? Yeah. Okay, so then we're going to go like 0. 0.15. That should be fine. Um, no, not affected by silk touch. No, you're not going to be able to touch it. It's unbreakable. It's replaceable. Not replaceable. It is replaceable. Um, yeah, so then... Spawn particles around the block. Yeah. Um, a fire particle. Top. Average spawning radius is like 0.2. Average particle amount, 2. Yeah. Alright, just let this, we can find it in the inventory just for now. It's going to be in building blocks just so I can see if it works. Now let's go test this out. And if this works, we're going to add it into the torch command. Okay, so I also forgot to show you guys about the um, cave torches. Uh, you you guys will get why I said I forgot to in a quick second here. You, you can see that I have a different shirt on. So I explained that in a minute-ish. So yeah, guys, check this out. So it blinks a little. It's a little like laggy kind of. Um, but... Yeah, kind of, we can walk around the caves, and, oh, for some reason it stopped, okay. Yeah, and so we can kind of check everything out, you can see these stones I added. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, so it kind of works, it doesn't give you like direct night vision anymore, it just kind of lights it up a little bit. So, there is probably going to be a better way of doing this, I'm going to try to ask the forms in between episodes and see if I can get this to work a little better. But yeah, so, um, let's go on to the next part of the video. Okay, so it's actually two days later because I kind of got like an important call I had to take and so now here we are uh, I, I went ahead and added all the new blocks. So I'm just going to show you guys the blocks before we actually see them in a cave So if we come down here My screen just started turning green for some reason um, Okay, so we're gonna give us why am I lagging stop? Three four five six seven eight. All right this one's accidentally called dirty, so I gotta change that name, but the rest is called dirty. Okay, so this has to be like organic stone. That's what it's gonna be called. So these I already showed you guys. These are found in the uh, colder biomes. So like it might be found in that snowy area over there. Wait, can I zoom in? No, I can't. Okay, so those are gonna be found over there. Uh, we can go check that out in a second. Uh, the next one is in like deserts and like hotter areas. These are sandier stones. I call this one sandy stone and dark sandy stone instead of sandstone, which is already a block. Um, Water is going to be found here, so I don't have a teleportation for it. It's going to be water, stone, and sludge. 
Um, it all looks good in the actual caves. The only thing I might change is the sludge, and I might make this stone a little darker. So the, this one's hard to tell apart from regular stone. And so these are the two you find in plains biomes. Regular stone looks like this, just for comparison. So we got regular stone and dirty stone. So I might make that one a little darker. Um, but let's go ahead and check out first the water area here. So we're going to go all the way down. And oh crap. Okay. Um, yeah, so if we find a cave over here. See that we got our regular stones. We got water stone and we got sludge. And so yeah, we got some nice area. Oh, mob spawner. That's interesting. What is this? Spider? Nope, skeleton. Wow, look at that. Um, water, sludge. Yeah, so... It's pretty interesting. I kind of like how it came out. Um, yeah, so I might make the sludge like a different color because it kind of fits, but it kind of feels like I I don't know. Like let's see. So we got sludge. Uh, we got dirty stone. But yeah, like sludge. So like I guess it works. It's fine. Um, and now if we come up here, we got. Let's go do the ice next because you guys have already seen ice. So. Um, we're gonna do ice again. Uh, let me just clear out my inventory. We're gonna go check out the ice area. We're gonna go slash buggy. And look at this. Look at that ice. That ah, sec. Look at it. It's epic. We got ice and snow. And so now it kinda has like a feel of like a colder cave. But I might get rid of this uh, brown stone to be found not in just any biome. It'll only be found in. Uh... I might just replace that brown stone with dirty stone. Just because it kinda throws off the whole feel a little bit i feel like like because we kind of want like a barren desolate iceland kind of place so it's like cold and bare um all right wow another mob spawner that's the most mob spawners i've ever found in one episode so now let's go back to the area there we go and now fly up and we're gonna go check out the sand biome so this part is i like the sand biome because it's also kind of barren and kind of lifeless so if we go to slash buggy and we hop down here and now let's go look in here so you can't really see it tell in this ravine all these spikes are starting to try to spawn in but yeah it's so like in a cave section of it it would look a lot better like so look at this we got kind of like sand it kind of looks a little barren I might make the nice only spawn in uh, plains as well. Um, yes, yeah, so we got like sandy kind of dryish feel. Um, the, yeah, so like the brown colors give it more of like a dirt lifey feel, but the sand kind of gives it a dry, which I kind of like. And then this darker sandstone is nice. Um, yeah, uh, let's go check out the plains. So let's go search TP FP zero E zero. And now let's go check out our plane biome. So let's go slash buggy. There we go. And um, yeah, let's check out this cave here. So we got uh, mossy-ish stone. I, I'm going to call it like organic stone. And we got um, regular brown stone. And then the dirty stone is really hard to identify. Here it is. This is a patch of dirty stone. So like, see how it's a little different in color from the regular stone. But... Yeah, so I might make that more recognizable, or I might just remove it and replace it with this uh, dirty stone here. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do, actually. But yeah, I kind of like how this organic stone turned out. Kind of gives it life feel. Our caves are a little bit lifeless, but that's going to change next episode. So, uh, yeah, in between episodes, I'm just going to patch up some of the textures, make it a little more smooth. Uh, maybe, like, this stone here kind of looks a little off, so I'm probably just going to change that texture and that's it. But yeah, next episode, guys, if you guys are actually watching through this entire episode, next episode is going to be about mobs. So if you have any ideas about mobs, let me know. And the episode after that is going to be back to the cave biome stuff because I am sure you guys have plenty of ideas of the cave biomes. And so I really want to hear those and implement those into the game. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any ideas for like biome types and caves, let me know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be adding mobs next episode. I'm probably going to add two mobs next episode. So let me know what kind of mobs I should add. I'm already probably going to add a villager. So what should the next uh, mob or mobs be? Let me know down below. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And if you guys do enjoy the content, hit subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the coffee. Peace out.